Welcome back. It's still Breakfast Daily on City TV. Thank you guys so much for staying with us. Now, our discovery today is a young woman who's preaching financial literacy in a very creative way through just taking our regular susu box and innovating them in a way that will just blow your mind. She's joining us all the way from the Western region. And throughout our conversations, so if you have any questions, let us know the hashtag to use as Breakfast Daily. And the WhatsApp line is 0550 If you're outside Ghana, the country code is plus two three three. And if you're on Twitter, you can tweet at me at GFACITY TV. Her name is Priscilla Rabina Aikens. She's the founder of Avi Susu Box. Good morning, Priscilla. Good morning, Zifa. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me here. Now, how did you come about this brilliant idea? <laughs> okay, so um, I was thinking about uh, starting something on my own. Uh, I was working, but then I had to relocate, so I had to leave that job. Okay. So I was thinking, okay, I don't have any of at hand. Am I just going to sit at home? Mm -hmm. So I was just thinking about what I could do. And I remembered I had one susu box I had, just the regular ones on the that street. We see. Yes. And I was in traffic, in a tra -tra, in traffic, mm -hmm. and I saw these guys carrying the normal wooden ones. So I was thinking, how will I make this look nicer? So we moved forward and I saw a woman selling these African print cloth and the idea clicked like, okay, maybe I could try that. Hmm. So I immediately got a, a yard of cloth okay. and then I went home and I tried it. I showed it to my cousin and she posted on her status and Aww. people started commenting. So I felt, okay, maybe this could work. And I got more boxes and here I am. Did you have any background in this? Because I, I, I'm, I'm informed that you're actually a sociology graduate. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. And professionally, I've been working as an administrative assistant. Okay. So this just came up and I, I started doing it. And um, I was doing that alongside working. So, mm -hmm. But now I want to really give more attention because I feel like there is a lot I can do with it. Mm -hmm. And... I'm here, so... You must be doing something right. Yes, yes. And we're so proud of you. Thank you. How has this helped you teach young kids financial literacy, the importance of saving and everything else? Okay, so mm -hmm. that was the target because I wanted to... When I started, I felt like, okay, maybe kids will love this. But I realized that... Adults. Uh, yeah, they even <laughs> love it more. They buy it, the working class buy it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I still feel like targeting the youth will be best because... Um, it's good we teach them whilst they are young. I remember I didn't really get that financial education when I was growing up. And even though I studied economics, the educational syllabus doesn't really teach you that much of like how to save, how to budget, how to invest your money and all that. So I feel like targeting the youth is best so that they learn all these. And I'm studying to get more knowledge about financial literacy so that I can share mm -hmm. and not just them putting the money inside but like what do you do with the money afterwards mm -hmm. so it all, all falls under financial literacy education so now let's talk about the boxes themselves because this I don't know if you guys can see is so well done you know the finishing is is Thank so you. on point what what's the creative process like walk us through it Okay, so I get the normal boxes and mm -hmm. then I get the African print. I select the fabrics myself. So I look out for something that will be catchy. Mm -hmm. The design, does it represent, um, when you see it, do you see African with it? So like this, you see this old woman with a stick. Mm -hmm. You see, it looks very African and this as well is colorful. So I just get the boxes, I get the clothes and then I make them myself now making a product is one thing getting your cousin to post it for a few <laughs> friends to order is a, yes. it's a different thing but sustaining it as a business is a completely different, different thing what did you learn along the process hmm, i've learned a lot <laughs> i've learned a lot because when i started okay i knew i wanted to sell it but i didn't really have the mind to make it big mm -hmm. So when I started, but like, I like reading, researching a lot. So when I get an idea, I go online, I read about it and see how I can develop it. So with the little knowledge I gained from the places I've worked, um, my first job 
was at an educational consult, but my boss gave me a lot of exposure mm. to research, to know how to venture into certain businesses. So I picked that one, and then I worked with a marketing firm too, and we had exhibitions and also people like how to market your product to people. So I use knowledge from all the places I've worked and then I use that in my business now. So a lot goes into it, but I feel like I've grown a lot in the branding because I feel like it's the branding that has gotten me here because mm -hmm. if it was just the susu box, Everybody like, sees the susu of box. course, but it's just the branding that has made it like this, yeah. So for aspiring entrepreneurs watching us this morning, what would you tell them about, you know, because somebody wants to start something in a space, they're like, ah, mm -hmm. it's susu box. Everybody already has access to susu box. Why would people come and mm -hmm. buy my susu box? Yikes. What would you tell them about the importance of branding? Mm. So first, I would say research about what you want to do. Just go and see, is someone doing something like that? And mm -hmm. how can you make it better? If there's no one doing it, how can you quickly get the idea to grow? So you research, you talk to people. And then for me, I took uh, advantage of every little opportunity I got. Like when I get any job offer, I've worked at a lot of places and like for short, for short time, time yeah. yeah. But I feel like they all helped me gain knowledge. So someone would say, ah, this job is not really paying well, why are you there? But like, mm. it's more of the Experience. knowledge I'm getting, yeah. So take advantage of every opportunity you get so that mm. it helps you grow. And then um, you'll be criticized, you know. What, what people, are some of the crazy things you've heard from people? When I started, mm -hmm. people were like, ah, and you so bought see a year tona wouldn't to my phone like it's so easy to do like ah what's so special about it and people felt okay it was more expensive than the normal ones on the street. Oh, how much is it okay so i have it in sizes as you mm -hmm. see this is 20 cities this is 30 cities and that's 40 cities it's not all it's that not expensive, expensive. i know it. the manpower but that goes into this alone. exactly like the fabrics cost <laughs> yeah. so yeah. Your labor costs too. Exactly. So um, you'll be criticized, but like take that in good faith and then improve upon it and then get support because I've gotten a lot of support from friends and family and that's also helped me a lot. So, yeah. Let's talk about the role of social media mm. in your business. Okay. How did it help? Tremendously because most of my business things I do on Instagram. Yes, and most of my orders come from Instagram mm -hmm. as well. And then when people post and refer, people see it online. So most of my stuff are from online. My sales and my recommendations are from referrals through social media. So it has helped a lot. And with the Instagram, I'm mostly active on Instagram. Instagram yeah. um, I'll be more active on Facebook. And yeah, other visuals people. are beautiful. If Instagram Thank is working you. for you, stick to Instagram. Yes. Don't feel don't feel bad for <laughs> yes, being yes. I feel like I can relate more to it, and yeah. I like the display of the app. Like I can easily navigate. But what I'm learning, of course, I can't limit myself because there are a lot of people who are on Facebook that can actually get access to it so mm -hmm. i i would expand eventually i'll get a website so mm -hmm. that those outside ghana can also order and get their boxes speaking of those outside ghana mm -hmm. what's your vision for abby susu box hmm. now it's like i've got a lot of <laughs> them <laughs> you need them yeah so <laughs> yeah I've, I've i have a lot of ideas that i want to do um like i said this can it covers a, a, a broad um, topic, Spectrum, yeah. yes. So with the financial literacy, like I said, um, I'm studying, I'll take more courses on it so that I can become a financial literacy coach mm -hmm. so that I can coach people on how to manage their money, their finances and all. With Abyss Box, uh, in a few years, hopefully you see it as a savings and loans company mm -hmm. where maybe you save in your susu box, then you bring the money to a institution and then we invest it for you and all that. So I have big plans and um, internationally, I'm looking to collaborate with people. There are lots of people out there that, you know, these whites, they love this African stuff. So yes, I'm working on it. So. We'll see how that goes. What kind of, what, what are some of the challenges you face? Because people mm. are watching us at home, they think it's mm. all easy. 
she just started a few years ago <laughs> now she's on TV yeah. and she's making orders <laughs> tell us some of the challenges you mm, so like I said um, people thinking oh I can get it for cheaper mm -hmm. uh, uh, but like I think now it's not really a challenge because people are really I'm accepting it because I'm making it more nicer and then the challenge also is with people wanting the ones that can easily be opened mm. so I get like orders and someone like oh I still have to break it before I use it. I'm like, yeah, so they come and buy another one. But that's not the main idea you to me. Say so you <laughs> yes, then I'll get money. <laughs> but um, I do it like this because I feel like it will help you to stick to your... And be disciplined. Yeah, yeah. so that... A lot of us are not disciplined exactly. at all. Exactly. So, yeah, so that's also another challenge. But I'm working on getting more ideas where those who want that type can get that type as mm. well. So, yeah. How do we deal with the doubt as young entrepreneurs? You start something new, people start mm. to say, ah, nobody will buy it, this mm. is that. How do you tune out all those voices and mm. focus on what you're working on? I remember when I made uh, my first batch of boxes, not the very first, but like when I got a lot of, I was home and I got up and I took a bag, I put the boxes inside and I started working in the community that spin takes. And I'll go to the shop. Oh, please, I make these boxes. And I'm like, oh, oh okay, you yeah, too wide. Then, so I'm like, okay. The feedback, some of the feedback could have gotten me discouraged because I was like, ah, or oh, it's not nice. Like, am I? It looked weird to them that like ah, a young girl, a nice girl, and you are going about selling susu boxes. But I got to this place where I met a man and. Mm -hmm. Apparently he was a manager at a bank and he Aww. bought like three boxes for his kids Aww. and he was very intrigued by how I was well dressed and I was, was walking around just selling his box. He was like, okay, he sees something there and he spoke to me and that stick in my mind. So I stick to the positive side. I didn't like the negative side get to me that much. So that's it. I feel like if you know what you are about, people will eventually come to accept it so you just build on it and then people will come around now let's talk about some of the challenges with um working with some of our artisans let's say you get a big order and mm. then the person says i have yeah, to go yeah. to a funeral <laughs> madam cry you don't pay me enough to be stressing me out okay, how yeah. do you deal with yeah. that the thing is i do everything myself you do everything yourself everything you're kidding yes so you don't have a team no i do everything myself but i'm working how, on how long did it take you to do this these three yes let's start with this one this oh it depends if i'm really concentrated within a few minutes like okay say, i can get one done wow yeah. okay but i'm working on getting a team so if you know anyone who would like to be a sales assistant or work with me on this i'll be very much open yeah and yeah i'm working on getting a team hopefully we'll get a a, what do you call it, a shop or something? You don't really need a shop. Yeah, because I'm doing it online. Exactly. But like now. in future, in future, I'm mm -hmm. talking long term, mm -hmm. so we'll get there. Yeah, so that's another challenge. I do it myself. So, well, I've, I'm okay for now, but I'm try, working on getting help. So Nice. We have some messages here. Let me read okay. them. Um, Prince Caleb says, Great. Barbara Velma Akins. Is that your sister? Yes. <laughs> Shout out to your sister. Hi. <laughs> she says amazing sister box. <laughs> and then uh, Nina from Tessia State said, this is a good initiative. Thank Thumbs you. up and Rabna. So, uh, okay, Rabna, lastly, for all the young people who are watching us who are discouraged, maybe they've lost their job, they are uh, run out of money, mm -hmm. what would you tell them about using that brief period to think about something around you that you can innovate mm. on to, to really to provide value to, to people? Like, look at me. I'm an example, you know. Um, like I said, that period when I was um, had to leave that, relocate, so I had to leave that job, uh, I didn't just go and stay at home. Well, initially, because I was trying to get there, I was just home doing nothing. And I used that period to start this. So... If you get an idea, just start working on it as soon as possible. Read, like research about it. I'm sure there are a lot of people who are doing similar, if not the same thing. So you, you learn a little from them. 
and then you you improve it if um, there are lots of people who are doing it as well how many fast food joints do we have around Enough it depends on everybody. your brand your marketing and all that and then use your connections like at first I wasn't really that type I'm an introvert so I used to be by myself, I wouldn't approach people, but this box thing has really made me open up. I meet people and I speak to them just to uh, engage them because everybody is a potential customer. You never know who your next client is. You never know who your next um, connection, business partner is. So I speak to everybody no matter how they look or who they are. So that's one advice I'll give and just ask for help if you need it. That's all. Arabana, where do we follow you on social media? Okay, so mostly I'm active on Instagram at abbysusubox, A-B-B-Y underscore susubox. Yes, um, so I work on the Facebook, but you can also WhatsApp me on 0240-634-611. Any special people you want to give a shout out? Mm, my family, <laughs> my family, my mom, my sisters, um, my cousins. They've been so supportive, so, so supportive. My friends are um, doing amazing as well. They are also young entrepreneurs. Duke's fashion line. They, they will all come, don't worry. Yeah, I <laughs> They'll yeah. come later. So, thank you all so much for the love. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Ravana, <laughs> for being you with too. us. And guys, let's go out there and support her. It's a beautiful initiative. All three of this is actually, <laughs> it's under 50 cities, right? Yes, you can get it for yes, your children. Yes. It's fun. It's a great way of teaching them how to save. It's important, right? It's getting harder and harder and harder to live in Ghana. Mm. We need to start teaching kids how to save. And yeah. I see um, Ivan's Maoli and Ivan's Flow already, like, the guys in the studio <laughs> park hall, they're like, we're going to start saving because... <laughs> It, the month is not even over and then they run out of their salaries right. so they are all going yeah. to get this yeah. <laughs> don't go anywhere we'll be right back <laughs>